Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 5.3, Estimate Quotients. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to estimate decimal quotients. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, Carmen likes to ski. The ski resort where she goes to ski got 3.2 feet of snow during a five-day period. The average daily snowfall for a given number of days is the quotient of the total of snow over the number of days. Estimate the average daily snowfall. So our job, let's underline, is to estimate the average average daily snowfall and it told us that the average was the daily snowfall of the quotient so we can estimate this by using compatible numbers we've talked about compatible numbers earlier in the year compatible numbers means when we pick a specific number when we round that we know our divisor is going to go into and so that we get a nice easy mental math estimate so we're going to divide 32 by 5. So Carly and her friend Marco each find an estimate. Since the divisor is greater than the dividend, they both rename 3.2 as tenths. So instead of calling it 3.2, I'm going to call it 32 tenths. So that I can put my decimal back in later. So... Carly says that 30 is close to 32 and divides evenly by 5. Well, I agree. If we're going from 32 to 30, that's close. And 5 does go into 30. So now we can divide. 30 divided by 5 equals 6 or 6 tenths would be 0. Point six because remember it's thirty tenths so this would be six tenths so Carly says that the average snowfall is about zero point six feet a little more than half a foot all right now Marco says that it's that we should round to thirty five because thirty two is close to thirty five and five goes into thirty five evenly I agree, that also works. So let's divide. 35 tenths divided by 5 is 7, because 7 times 5 is 35. But remember, this is tenth, 7 tenths. So we're going to write this as 0 0.7, 7 tenths. So the average daily snowfall is about 0 0.7. And I don't have it on my page here, but if you look right underneath this activity. Question number one says whose estimate is closer to the exact answer? Well, I think if we look here, we went, our original number was 32, and we rounded down to 30, and that's only a difference of 2, and we rounded up to 30. Five, and that's a difference of three. So I would say that Carly is closer to the actual number. So our number is going to be closer to 0 0.6 than it is to 0 0.7. Let's continue on with the example on the next page. In the example, it says, a group of 31 students are going to visit the museum. The total cost of the tickets is $144.15. About how much money will each student have to pay? Well, we know that about means that we need to estimate. So we're going to use compatible numbers and estimate 144 divided by 31. So A says use a whole number greater than the dividend says use 30 for the divisor and then find a number close to 144 that divides by 30. 
So if we follow those steps, we're going to divide by 31. So we round 31 to 30 because that's a nice easy number. Then I think of multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 15, 150 is close to 144, but 3 goes into 15 evenly. It goes in 5 times. So 5 times 30 would be 150, and 150 is close to 144. So each student will pay about $5 for a ticket. Not quite, a little bit less. All right, B says use a whole number less than the dividend. Okay, so now look, we kept 31 rounding to 30, but now instead of running, rounding up, 144 has rounded to 112. And still think of your multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. So that's where that 12 came from because we know that 3 goes into it evenly. So 3 goes into 12 four times and there's one zero that cancels on both sides. So that means that it's going to be about $4. So that means that the students will pay somewhere between $4 and $5 in order to get into this exhibit. All right, fifth graders, it's time for the lesson activity. I'll get you started. This says, estimate the quotient. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna round our divisor to a nice easy number. 21 is close to, let's call it 20. And then remember, we underline the first two digits and we want to get as close as we can to something that starts with the two digits as something that's divisible by two. Well two goes into a hundred so instead of 108.4 let's call this 100 divided by 20. Now we have a nice easy number. All right the next one has 21.8 divided by four. Let's round four to five and let's round 21.0. Oh, that looks nice. Let's round that to 20. So 20 divided by 5. So I've gotten you started. You can finish the rest in your math notebook. Great job, fifth graders.